I thought I would record a quick video on how to calibrate the EcoWit soil sensors. Uh, usually you would need to do this when you see either it uh, flatlining at the bottom or flatlining at the top of a soil chart. Uh, here, here are the charts. I only just now installed these sensors so you can't actually see the curve. But like, let's say that it was um, plateauing or bottoming out. Uh, that would represent either hitting 100% or hitting uh, 0%. If you click on the little AD, portion of the chart, it should display a different trend that actually shows, shows you the raw readings of the sensor. And if you write down what those readings are at either the top or the bottom, uh, where, where it either plat plateaus at the top or plateaus at the bottom, you can know precisely what the 100% or the 0% of the sensor is when you go to calibrate it. So anyway, when you do go to calibrate it, uh, you just open up the WSView app, like you see here. You have to be on the network that the the sensors are on. Uh, you have to go and then find the appropriate device. Um, if you, you you can create favorites and then label each device according to which room they're in. Uh, so this one is where I'm at. So you can click on this device, and you'll see the current values of all the sensors. Now, if you click more, uh, you can see the can uh, sorry the calibration menu item. If you click that. You should see the multi CH soil section. You click that. And then here, every one of the sliders should be set to customize because these things are super inaccurate when they're straight out of the box with defaults. So, what I suggest you do is stick these soil sensors, well, when you get like a brand new one, stick these soil sensors into a pot of completely dry soil and set the zero. Um, that's what I did with all of these. And it seems to work if you put all the sensors in the same pot. So, you don't need to do them one at a time. So you just stick all the soil sensors in a pot uh, that, of dry soil. Uh, then you change the 0% AD value to whatever it's showing at the time. So you can actually see here it says now AD. Uh, and that's the, what the sensor is currently outputting. So when it's in dry soil, you take that now AD and you just transfer it down into the 0% AD section and hit save. Then you move the soil sensors to a pot of completely saturated soil, like get it completely wet, let it fully drain off. So it's just 100% saturated, preferably uh, with nutrient that's especially high um, EC. So like double EC or like some, something closer to what it would actually be in the pot. Uh, so you can just take like double strength nutrient or, or like if you're just starting, you can use single strength nutrient, but it, it's a little bit better if you use double strength. Anyway, you put it in a pot of completely saturated soil, and then the now AD will be at the upper limit. And you go in here and you just change every single one of the upper limit, uh, the now ADs to be the 100% AD column. So here you see me changing one, uh, and it should change to 100% on the left. And so right now I have all the, the sensors in a pot full of completely saturated uh, soil, saturated with nutrient. And, uh, and now I have them all set to 100%, I hit save. And now, now my curves should look way better. And more importantly, I can set alarms to values that sort of make sense. Like if you're used to setting a, an alarm value at 25 or 30% moisture content, uh, you're more likely to have that be the actual real value that you're looking for after you've done this calibration. If you don't calibrate, then when it hits 30%, it might be at like 90% or it might be at 0%. Like it, it can be like way off. So. It's critical that you do this. Uh, I would even recommend that you do this uh, maybe once or twice during the crop cycle after the initial calibration because the soil becomes salty and then uh, wet dry cycles cause a um, like contraction and uh, expansion of the soil which might dislodge the sensor a little bit making the connection a little bit worse and therefore the calibration might change a little bit. And the way you calibrate it during the crop cycle is you uh, just dump a bunch of um, dump a bunch of nutrient onto the soil or you know nutrient water uh, get it just completely to run off just water it like multiple times by hand until it's super saturated or or automatically you get the whole room like multiple multiple times to full runoff if that is called for and then you go back in here and set 100% AD just like you did uh, when it wasn't in uh, next to a plant. And that's how you do that. All right.